While some evangelicals, Southern evangelicals, defended the right of slave owners, many, many other evangelicals opposed slave owner, owning with every ounce of their courage and passion. One of these was uh, one of my favorites, John Wesley. John Wesley was the founder of Methodism and was the most ardent and passionate and eloquent person in opposition to the slave trade in Britain and to the, sl the practice of slavery in the United States. In a famous uh, uh, piece of writing that he did about slavery, he said to slave merchants, you are the spring that puts all the rest into motion. Captains, slave owners, kidnappers, murderers, thy brother's blood crieth unto thee. Thy hands, thy bed, thy furniture, thy house, thy lands are at present stained with blood. Whether you are a Christian or not, show yourself a man. Be not more savage than a lion or a bear. The work of all true Christians, John Wesley believed, was to end the practice of slavery and the practice of trading in human beings. John Wesley was just one example of many. Charles H. Spurgeon, another uh, 19th century evangelical, was a powerful proponent of the end of slavery. Charles G. Finney in the United States was the most significant leader of the abolitionist movement and also one of the most influential and powerful preachers of the Second Great Awakening, which was this great revival meeting that swept the United States during the 1820s and 30s and 40s before the Civil War. For abolitionists like these evangelicals, the heart of Jesus' teachings about love and compassion and about mercy and about justice was about ending slavery as well.